Well, YouTube, <laughs> Aaron here for the second time. I already made an entire video, it lasted 26 minutes. How long was it? 26 minutes and so many seconds, but my QuickTime player is not going to allow me to have a video that lasts more than 15 minutes, which most of you will actually probably appreciate. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and let's let's walk outside here. Uh, get some nice audio in the background, nature sounds. That's my door. Ooh, it is cold today, actually. Oh uh, yeah, it's actually freezing outside. We're not going to do that. Okay, back inside we go. It looks much nicer than it is. All right. Well, here is the event. Uh, airstrike event is is what. And again, I'm just going to briefly go over these. Uh, the video can't be longer than 15 minutes. Basically, the new event, we've got carriers, British cruisers, the Siegfried Cruiser, uh, a ranked type event uh, with steel as an option um, as the campaign reward, and steel is going to be able to get you the Missouri, uh, the USS Missouri, but not this update. It's going to be many updates to come. So let's go ahead and get into it, read briefly and quickly over. Um, uh, again, I'm just going to go over the high points, uh, and, and we're going to skip a lot of the intimate data you can you can see as come on respond there we go all right as you can see there there's there's a long list here and uh, I'll try to provide a link maybe for them uh, if you want to read specifics but basically the airstrike event is a separate event from regular matchmaking it's its own deal You'll be able to get Tier 3 and Tier 5 Japanese and American ships, the Hoshu, Raiju, Japanese, the Langley Ranger, uh, and you'll be able to play Tier 4 to Tier 6 ships, surface ships as well. Um, to get yourself behind one of these, you'll have to win a couple of battles in this mode playing a non-carrier. Basically, you won't be able to take carriers out every single time, um, which I think is fair. Uh, people need to know how to go to get, how to counter them, excuse me, as well as play in them, and that will create a, a rather balanced matchmaking. Um, here is, you can stop and read these, uh, but basically something is the AA haven't changed, nor will we get the AA stats. Again, this is a test event, so yeah. Um, change in your catapult fighter, again, you can pause and read it. Uh, I hope it's just for the test event and not for regular matchmaking. Uh, that, that will, cruiser players will be at a, even less of an advantage, um, do, you know, as a result. Control-wise, it's very difficult to hit a target in your carrier, obviously. So, yeah. Uh, and that is all for the... the really needs to be said for this. There are a couple of side missions here that you can do. Uh, I think, you know, shooting down a certain number of aircraft, uh, it says right here to familiarize yourself with them um, they, because they have specific requirements. British Heavy Cruisers. An entirely new live ship is coming to our waters in early access. Of course there is. Of course there is. Um, there are quite a few differences in these ships possess in comparison to their lighter counterparts. First, they have access to high explosive, um, while the ballistic trajectories may be comparatively arced. The per salvage demo is quite significant, so you can island camp with these ships, which is good. Um, I, I believe. I'm not, I don't know if I read that completely correct. They are also relatively well armored and have an improved repair party. Um, so this is good. More, more, uh, more cruisers in the game. Hopefully they're 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 well balanced and and easy to to play. Um, but what they said is um, their maneuverability. I think uh, they have sonar, single launch torpedoes, um, but of course reduce maneuverability and speed. So as I said in my last video, you'll have to play chess and predict your mo opponent's movements, which is what you guys should be doing regardless. These ships are going to be the Tier 4 Hawkins, 5 Devonshire, and 6 Surrey. Uh, I can read those with an English accent, but for the for time's sake, we're going to move on. Tier 7 Alburn Laurel will be available in the next update. The Dragon Slayer campaign, basically, it's the Siegfried. There's a cool new port. Um, and yeah, here's all this. Again, you can just pause the screen and really read it if, if you want to take it on. Something I said in my last video that I was wrong about is the Siegfried is going to be a cruiser in this game. I think it's a battleship on PC, um, but there are no battle cruiser designations, the Alaska, the Odin, the Scharnhorst, things like that. So um, they're either labeled battleship and or cruiser uh, just for the sake of, of the legends. Here's all the crap you'll get with the, the campaign. This is without the Admiralty backing, and this is with the Admiralty backing quite a lot. Arena mode, this is 
something uh, I was semi-interested in. It's a ranked version. Um, and here where it mentions the USS Missouri. Um, so for example, you're going to get 2,500 units of steel if you come in first in this. And then, yeah, I don't know how much. I think 12, where was it? Does it say? I think it was 1250 maybe with an additional <clears throat> options to earn more as the campaign goes on. And then here's the, this is just kind of something else they added. Uh, different camos, maybe different ships, very visually different varieties of the tier six Miyoku with premium boat. Yeah, that's just another way for them to get potential money. I'm sure I'll try out those ships though as I get them for a week, I believe, being the newest CC. Thank you again, Wargaming. You guys do, 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 uh, do, do. You guys do an above average job with this game. There are some things, obviously, I, I wish I could change, but I appreciate you guys dragging me along for the ride. Here are some ships that got a buff, um, including the Vanguard. I didn't really think it needed it, but it is, I think, maybe one of the lower end tier seven battleships. Shell grouping increased by 2.6%. Slight buff to accuracy. Okay. Pair party modified. Whoa, so it got a nerf? Repair party modified. It now restores the same amount of HP, but over 10 seconds instead of... Oh, that's not a nerf at all. That's a buff. Wow. Wow. Okay, Vanguard got buffed again. Duke of York base charges. Miscellaneous changes and improvements. Crosstalk. Rentals are leaving. Yes, guys, all those ships are going to be leaving. And gunshots and, and things like that. Here's some also some permanent camos, bug fixes, although they did not fix the frame rate, frame rate glitch. Can I type that in there? Frame rate glitch. That was one of the, the more annoying ones. Uh, but yeah, again, guys, just made this brief video. This is my first, yeah, what do you say? This is my first patch notes reading as a CC, so I really appreciate Wargaming again, for, for having me in this program and to try and do the best I can. Uh, but again, I'm going to be honest. Uh, for example, I do not think these ships are going to be worth it worth it at all. Uh, I think these are actually going to be their separate tier six. I, there's no reason to get those. There are much better ships to get. Um, but again, we will we will see. We will give everything a fair opportunity, um, as, as all people should do. You know, so much polarization going on nowadays that, uh, you know, nobody nobody wants to be fair anymore. So going to do the best I can at it. That is the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Again, make sure to check out my channel. Let me go ahead and pull it up here. YouTube. Uh, you can see how slow my internet is. Oh, hype streaming. Dr. D. Like, subscribe. You guys know the drill. Appreciate everyone watching. Hope you guys have a great day. There's the briefened, shortened patch notes reading. A.A. Ron out. Peace.